Hey guys, it's the middle of the week. I think today's Wednesday. I believe it is anyway. But anyway, it doesn't matter. I wound up getting getting feeling a little better from this damn cold mess. I went out here and I put the intake on. On the little 327 and it's, it's all bolted up now. The valves, like I say, valves were adjusted. Oil pressures, oil been primed up in it. That's done. Uh, it, it's pretty much ready to go. I got to I just decide whether I'm going to put a belt driven water pump on it or get an electric one. I'm not sure. I'm probably going to put an electrical one on it. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what we come up with though. But uh, anyway, she's all bolted up. And, uh, I did use, I don't know if it's going to be a good thing or a bad thing, but I did put the stainless steel Allen head bolts in the intake this time. Little suckers are pricey though. Them things a dollar and a half a piece. But whatever. You know, if it looks good and works good, I don't, I'm not concerned with the looking good. Nowhere near as much as just being able to tighten them up. Versus some of them just aggravating to get a wrench on. So I can get an Allen wrench to all those and keep them tight and do like they're supposed to do. The PCV valve deal's done. That's all done. Fuel line sitting there waiting for the S10. That, like I said, that's all done. Um, engine run stand. I had the V8 radiator on it, but it was one of those type that takes a remote tank. And I didn't have a remote tank, so I stuck that one back on. Uh, got the, the fans done. It's all wired up. I got it on... It's a two-speed motor, so I've got it blowing through the radiator, not sucking back. I could put it on the other side. Either way, though, it doesn't matter. I mean, it's a two-speed motor, so. But that's all wired up. Done down below, there's it so I can plug and unplug it. If I want to move it, take this front section off. I got plugs down there, I can unplug the wires. So there won't be a damn bushel basket with the wires coiled up everywhere. Them loose ones will go right with the radiator support. And fuel pump, same way. It unplugged, it's mounted right there. Just a little low pressure fuel pump. But all that wiring goes down and around, goes through that conduit. Uh, comes up on the side over here, right up behind the uh, switch panel. All the switches are in and wired up. I just got to get two new gauges. Uh, so that's just got to happen. But I built this messing around out here today. I built this little prototype throttle deal. I don't know if that's what I want or not. I'm not sure. Uh, you know, it's just tack welded on and, and you know, it would work. I just need to fix a way where you could, you know, for breaking in a cam, you could sit there and pull her back, which I reckon I could do it with adjustments, adjusting that rod. We'll see. We'll come up with something. There's a uh, battery box is mounted. All I got to do now is run a battery cable to ground to the system. And a positive cable up to a, either a solenoid, I'm not sure which, or either just run to the starter. I got a, a starter wires and there's the ignition wires. They're all right there labeled. So that's that's pretty much where we're at on that. It's pretty well ready to go. Um, like I said, I stuck that intake and old carburetor on there today, just messing around. You know, I'm just not sure if that's the way I want to do it or not. I don't know. It's not, you know, it's not the end of the world. It's not the beginning of the world. It doesn't, I don't know, it's just, you know, do I need a throttle on it? I mean, it ain't like the carburetor's a long ways away from, you know, where you right here at it anyway. But for, you know, breaking in a, a flat tap it cam would be nice to run her up. And wouldn't have to stand right here with it. I mean, but you could just idle screw up, I guess, that high. 
So, I don't know if I'm going to leave it on there or not. I don't know. Let me know what y'all, y'all let, let me know what you think. It's, uh, I mean, it's a sample just from locking up and threaded rod and a little bit of EMT. Being a 90 on it and cut it off. You know, and if I keep it, the handle's going to get cut off some. But I need to fix it where, you know, I think it needs to be wherever you pull it back, you could hold it. You know, it would hold itself at whatever RPM you want it to. But, you know, it, it works fine. That's no big deal. I don't know. This is kind of a work in progress, that's for sure. Because I'm, man, I'll change my mind on something in a minute. Which I guess if y'all watch me very long, you know that. But anyway, it's, uh, see what we got back here. Just, I'm on focus. Anyway, it's oil pressure gauge and water temperature gauge. And then that was, yeah, of course, that's the starter button, ignition, fuel pump, water pump, electric fan. I can't think of nothing else that would be needed. You know, so anyhow, that's what I got. The battery's there. And we'll see what happens here. Like I said, I gotta decide on that little 327 what I'm gonna do. Cause I you know, I ain't I ain't really into the damn V belts and mess, that aggravating mess. If they ain't lined up perfect, you're slinging a belt off. If you twist on the motor, and I will twist on one. So, uh, you know, I think probably the best thing to do is buy an electric water pump. And then if you did go and run it at the drag strip, you would have, you could leave the water pump on and the fan on and cool down, cool her down. Where if you had electric, you know, just belt driven, you can't. You gotta have fans are blowing on it and all this kind of junk. Oh, well, anyway, we'll see what y'all think about it. Which way I think I ought to go. So anyway, that little 650 carburetor has been rebuilt. It's ready to go. That's a good working little carburetor there, man. Old Justin from Skull Garage. I was having some trouble with it, trying to get it to work like I wanted it to work. And, well, you know, I never was a whole lot into the street performance stuff. I was always more drag racing. And a drag race carburetor and a street carburetor are two different creatures. Or, you know, they're set up differently. So anyway, I was messing, talking to Justin, bull jiving with him, and he would give me a bunch of tips on this thing, what he does on street carburetors, and it it really worked out great. So we'll see. We'll get her back, fire back up, and see how it lights this little roller cam, see what happens, and uh, we'll go from there. So, all right, guys. I just want to check in, let y'all know where we are getting a little bit done, not much, but a little bit. And I'll see y'all later. See ya.